and brought to you by Sprite. It's the 2K pregame show. A berth in the NBA Finals up for grabs here in Game 7. A huge night coming up here on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson along with Shaquille O'Neal. The action coming to you from Chicago where the Bulls will be hosting the series tonight up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. You take a look at the Cavaliers. A crucial home win for them to tie the series. They force a Game 7 here on the road. The odds stacked against them as they look for a way to steal the series. So it all comes down to one. One game, one winner, one conference champion, one trip to the finals, all riding on this one, Shaq. Well, Ernie, game seven home courts don't matter as much as you would think. You know, when it comes to all or nothing, the big players come out to play. I would expect both teams to be pretty tight at the start of this game, but once they get past the first quarter, things will start to open up, and we will see who the big stars are. Indeed, we will. Almost game time. Kevin Harlan standing by. Kev. Hello everyone, which one of these teams from the East will move into the finals? All knotted up here at three apiece, we're about to find out. Welcome everyone, this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. You look at Chicago, now with the final deciding game right in front of them, their home crowd looking on to exhort them to new heights and to the next level. Guys, this is the payoff for the work they put in during the regular season, getting to play this deciding game in their own building. And these fans are ready to carry them. And Steve, how lucky are we to get to be part of something like this? On the biggest stage the NBA has to offer, the way these two teams have battled, I mean, it just felt all along like this series was going to go the distance. Wow. Look at Cleveland's starting group. The two stars, LeBron and Love. At the three and the four, Allen is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Thompson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Rose against Irving. Gibson setting the pick for Rose. Noah with a screen on Irving, and it's Rose penetrating, and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. This is his first trip to the line tonight.
and the first one drops. And Rose drops them both. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. Rose against Irving. James outside. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second point. Bulls with it. They come into this one after losing on Sunday. Yeah, they gave away a lot of points at the free throw line in that game. Maybe it was being on the road. Maybe uh, they were just out of sync, but something had them rattled. Steve, I don't know if it was the biggest reason for that loss, but clearly the misses from the strike had an impact. Here's Rose, blanketed by the D, who fights to the rim for the layup. That finish brings me back to the old days, the silky smooth finger roll. Irving kicks to LeBron. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The Cavaliers shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for LeBron. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Outside Butler. Gibson setting the pick for Butler. The dish to Gibson. The rebound by Kevin Love. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. Off the screen. Oh, get it! Oh, oh. Watch out now! <laughs> Putting on a show for these people. I cannot believe he pulled that one. <laughs> out in the course of an actual game. Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Might as well flaunt it if you've got it, Clark. And it's Butler missing. Here's Irving. Love with the screen on ropes. Irving drives in and foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. He misses the free throw, and the Bulls making a change here. Gasol's checked in. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. The Bulls have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Butler kicks to McDermott. At the elbow, it's Rose. Outside, Butler. Back to Rose. Shot clock at five. Noah with a screen on Irving. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Well, good idea setting that screen, but the execution wasn't there. No, it sure wasn't. I mean, you want it to be hard, but it also has to be legal. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Allen outside. 
LeBron sets the screen for Allen to the inside. Butler with the steal. Now here's McDermott. James covering. With the runner. And there's McDermott. That's good on the assist by Butler. You see the way he times his passes so well. That was a great assist. The Cavaliers trailing. LeBron outside. Love with the screen on Rose. And it's Irving missing. Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. That's good. The defense left him just a little window to get through. And he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Now here is Irving. Allen outside. Three-pointer. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. The Bulls leading by three. Outside Rose. Feeds to Gasol. LeBron drives in and then jammed down as he goes right over Paul Gasol. Here he comes and there he goes. Look at him punish that rack. Oof. You know, the guys on the bench are going crazy right now at the sight of that jam. For Chicago, they've gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Here's Butler. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Ray Allen picks one up. The Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. A free throw dropped for Butler. And so Butler nails both of them. And so it's Cleveland with it. They trail by three. LeBron kicks to Thompson. Pass to Irving. Allen outside. The pass to Irving. Six to shoot. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Hey, the defense was right there just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Now here's Noah. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. This is to Gasol. From 10 feet out, gets the front of the rim and out. The Cavaliers trail by three. It's Allen on the win. Shoots the three. Tries again. And there's the nice layup by Love. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. And Chicago shooting 43% since taking the floor today. Noah with a screen for Rhodes. Kicks it to Noah. Pass to Gasol. To the wing on the left. Got it from 16 feet. It was almost like he was surprised to be that wide open, yet he knocked it down. Cleveland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Love with the screen for LeBron. Oh, 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 what a throw down there, oh. man. And how about that screen by Love? That was a wall. Bulls have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. This all set in the pick for Rhodes. Noah with a screen on Irving. 
outside Rose. Rose. The nine footers on the mark. Rose has got six. It is so hard to contain him. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. LeBron outside. Love with the screen for LeBron. And they double up James. Picks it out to Allen. And he feeds it to Irving. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Allen outside. Fires for three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Allen's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Give you a look at the players who have stood out at taking high percentage shots in the playoffs. LeBron James, number one. Bulls have gone 5 of 9 from the field here in the first. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. I had a chance to catch up with Tom Thibodeau. He thinks the pace of this game will be a big factor here today. He said, we've got to play this game at our speed and not let them dictate the tempo. With home court advantage here in the final game, he feels they should be able to do just that. The pace of this thing will be the deciding factor, Kevin. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Now, here is Irving. Following the miss by Derrick Rose. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That is his first foul of the game. Third team foul. The Bulls shooting well right out of the gates here at around 50%. Butler goes in. Pass to Gasol. The feed now to Noah. Gasol dishes to McDermott. Looking for Gasol. He gets it there. Six to shoot. McDermott passes to Gasol. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. Chicago making some changes. Miritich comes in for Joakim Noah. And it's Heinrich in for McDermott. Cleveland's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Allen kicks to Irving. Love with the screen on Rose. Now the dish to Love. Kicks it out to Allen. Shot clock at six. And Kevin Love. The bucket with the assist by Allen. Love's got his second bucket of the night. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones. A long time without a basket. They gotta find something. You're right. Rose with the ball. Six points for him. And again, no good by Chicago. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. Gasol a screen, and it's Rose penetrating. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. Rose has got eight points. Cleveland's gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Irving kicks to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. He dishes it to Love. Back to James. 
And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. That's going to send LeBron James to the line. They get Paul Gasol. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. It's a great drive to the bucket for them at this point, guys. Another thing they've been doing so far tonight is knocking down the jump shot. Brooks checked in for Rose. Cleveland also making some changes. Anderson Verajau's checked in for Thompson. Miller comes in for Kevin Love. And Dion Waiters up in for Ray Allen. Bulls trail by four. Heinrich dishes to Gasol. Nice D from Verajau. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And you love the concentration. Gets hit, but stays with the play. Yeah, he showed a lot right there. Plenty of concentration finding a way to get that shot to fall. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Marion's checked in. The Cavaliers have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. Free throw, good waiters. Here's Heinrich. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Butler sets a screen for Heinrich. He kicks it to Brooks. Feeds it to Miritich. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Here's Brooks. Passes it to Heinrich. Shot clock at six. Miritich sets the screen for Heinrich. Out of bounds. Cleveland takes possession. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Outside Irving. Now the pass to Waiters. To the left wing. Second chance effort, and they will get the basket here, folks, as they rule goaltender. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. The Cavaliers shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Joe Keen Noah is checked in for Chicago. And Sean Marion, no good on that. You know, a team's rebounding is one of the great measures of its energy, and theirs has been terrific in the first quarter. Yeah, they were ready to go right from the opening tip. Now, Miritich sets the screen for Butler. Four on the clock. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. Cavaliers leading. Verizhao with a screen on Brooks. Irving drives in. That's tipped. Marion kicks to Irving. Back to Marion. Miller outside. Cleveland moving the ball around. Vicious to Waiters. Second shot opportunity. That is good. He's got his second bucket tonight. You know, it's so difficult, Kevin, to win in this league when you allow second chance points. I and mean, that's what's happening right now. Well, you got to put a body on your man when the shot goes up. That's just fundamental basketball. They're giving up way too many offensive rebounds. Chicago calls timeout. Now Butler. Here it's it's with it. And it's Marion picking him up. Butler kicks to Heinrich. Back to Butler. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Brooks. And again, Chicago. No good. Cleveland leading by 11. Waiters dishes to Miller. Leaps for it. From outside, off the mark. Chicago's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Cleveland's gone 2 of 5 from three-point land here in the first quarter. 
Virajao setting the pick for Irving. It's Miller on the wing. Miller with another miss. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just clanks the open jumper. And here is Brooks. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Heinrich kicks to Miritich. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. Really a low percentage pass, but it, it still nearly got through. I like it, though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. Heads up defending to deflect it away. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but they really challenged him. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Cavaliers lead by eight. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Seven of conference finals. LaMarcus Aldridge and the Portland Trailblazers take on Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder this Wednesday. And welcome back to this Game 7 as we get ready to get back into the action. What stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? And the key has been the second chance points. You look at this team, the, the hustle that they play with, uh, very impressive in that first quarter. Well, it's showing up on the scoreboard. I mean, you get second chance points like that. It can add to your totals and also demoralize your opponent. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter to play. So for Chicago right now, inside Gibson and Noah. Brooks is out there with Heinrich, and it's McDermott in at the three spot. Here's Noah. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. Kevin Love's checked in for Cleveland. Chicago shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. The Cavaliers leading by five. Della Vidova kicks to Waiters. Love with the screen on Heinrich. Out to the right wing. Here's Della Vidova. And it's off from three-point range. Here's Chicago. McDermott with it. Now defended by Verjao. Heinrich passes to Gibson. And Brooks. Here we go. Here's Noah. Can't hit. Good D from Love. Now Cleveland shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Love with the screen on Brooks. Kicks to Love. Parajau down low. Gibson on him. Pass to Della Vidova. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Back to Waiters. Miller with a wide open look. They get it back. Verizhao dishes to Della Vidova. Waiters up top. They shoot again. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And this will be his second and third shots of the line here. The first free throw is good. Some changes for Chicago. Pau Gasol's checked in for Noah. And it's Rose in for Brooks. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. James comes in for Mike Miller. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Bulls trail by six. Rose gets to Gasol. Rose attacking. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Nine feet out. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. 
You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. Now, here's Thompson. Wyatt so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Five to shoot. Della Vidova kicks to James. Pass to Della Vidova. LeBron against Gasol. Waiters gets a wide open look. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. Nine points for Dion Waiters. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. It gave him a wide open look there. Here's Rose. And he banks in the lane. Oh boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Elbit over the pass to Thompson. He feeds it to LeBron. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Mark? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense, that's for sure. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. Bulls shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. That free throw, no good. That one is no good. Just an enormous advantage for them on the boards. Guys, the key to the lead to me has been they've dominated the glass. It's that simple. Here's Double Vido. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Love dishes to Waiters. Here's Heinrich. And some very quick points for him on that possession. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Del Vido. The feed to Waiters. LeBron outside. Goes up off the pitch and then jammed down as he goes right over Paul Gasol. Just floating to the rim on that slam. Boy, when he gets up, he gets up Whoa. and stays up. <laughs> Boy, smooth and graceful. How about the hang time? That's impressive. Gibson setting the pick for Rollins. Another shot. Good on that shot. And with that, the Cavalier lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Pau Gasol. The Cavaliers have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Love with the screen on Rose. Della Vidova kicks to LeBron. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Here are the NBA's top scorers during this postseason as shown on the 2K leaderboard. LeBron James, number one. And, of course, Derrick Rose. I'll tell you what, whether it's been attacking off the dribble or pulling up, both of these guys have really been lighting it up in the playoffs. First one falls for him. What a game for LeBron. He's got 16 points, and he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And that may not be the first thing people notice about his performance, but those are important points nonetheless. Bulls trail by nine. Chicago calls timeout. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. But he's getting to the rack all game, and if they can't do a better job of keeping him out of the paint, they're in for a long night. Here's Gibson. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. The dish to Gasol. The Bulls keep it alive. Four on the clock. Heinrich from outside. Another three for Chicago. What are they thinking, leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard? That this guy is unbelievable. That's a layup for him. Here's Del Vido. He dishes it to LeBron. Boom, he jams it straight down. 
I'll tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, I think he did plenty of damage anyway. It was only with one hand, but he threw it down pretty hard. Here is Rose following the score by Cleveland. Right side, Rose. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Well, you know, he has shot the ball well, but it has not been contagious. And his teammates, they haven't had the same groove, and that's why we're looking at this result so far. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Some good play from Rose in this one. He has 12 points, and he has one steal to his credit as well. But he's done a better job than the numbers indicate, really. I think he's been really sound defensively, and he's helped his club. When they pulled up from mid-range, more often than not, they've buried him. You know, that's not always the number one option, but if the defense gives that to you, you got to take it. Now here's Rose. He's got 12. Gibson passes to Rose. Right side, Rose. Heinrich outside. Left side, Rose. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Rose has got 14. And, fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. LeBron with it. Now defended by McDermott. Feeds it to Delavido. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Bulls. Gibson's got his third rebound on the ninth. Outside Rose. Shoots off the screen. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They've led by as many as 11 points. And the dunk by LeBron. And the lead just grows on that ridiculous offensive sequence. You know, Clark, that dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. Here's Heinrich following the basket by LeBron James. Gibson setting the pick for Gasol. And the wide-open shot for Rose. Another one falls for Chicago. Well, this quarter has gone awfully well for him. It seems like every chance he's gotten, he's pretty much converted. Della Vidova kicks to LeBron. LeBron is doubled. Passes it to Della Vidova. Dishes it to Waiters. James right side. Back to Waiters. Front pass the arc. Here's Thompson. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Boy, what a great job making good on the second opportunity. He stayed with that play from start to finish. Miritich is checked in for the Bulls. Jimmy Butler comes in for McDermott. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Matthew Delavid over. Bulls trail by nine. Butler dishes to Gasol. And Heinrich has it in the corner. Baseline jumper. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got five rebounds tonight. James left side. Here's Waiters. Misses off the right iron. Bulls have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice efficient 50%. Thompson with the block. Now, here is Irving. Love with the screen on Rose. Irving attacking. Rebound by Heinrich. Great defense in the paint there. Making it tough on the offense. That's what he brings, a presence. I mean, you saw it on that miss. Butler passes to Miritich. Back to Butler. He kicks to Gasol. And it's blocked by Love. 
Thompson a screen on Rose. Irving dishes to Thompson, and he comes off the screen and screams it through. Well, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger, Clark, right now. Yeah, it's it exactly. Won't. It's with them. Yeah, but you don't want to do too much to get an opponent riled up, though, either. And so here is Chicago following the score by Cleveland. Now here is Miritich. D right on him. LeBron with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. LeBron kicks to Irving. Back to James. He's looking for Love and finds him. Waiters. That falls. Clean assist by Love. That's 12 points for Dion Waiters. You know, they've got to make him earn those three. You play off of him, and he's automatic from that distance. Rose attacking. Gasol's in the post. He's covered by Thompson. And he gets it to go. Six points for Pau Gasol. Cleveland leading by 12. Outside Irving. The pass to James. Back to Irving. Here's the three. Kicks it out to James. Pass to Irving. 153 left in the first half. LeBron with it. Butler covering. Irving passes to Thompson. Just five to shoot. This one for three. Rebound by the Bulls. Gasol's got four rebounds in this game. Rose against Irving. Rose attacking. Another one falls for Chicago. He's really stepped it up this quarter. Looks like he's determined to get them out of this hole all by himself. We've got 118 left now here in the second. Love with the screen on Heinrich. Haters no luck. Bulls trail by 10. Butler with the ball. Kicks it to Gasol. From 12 feet out. That one goes. Come Gasol's got six points in the quarter. And he's shaken off a poor first quarter shooting effort. He's really starting to turn it on now, guys. Irving kicks to Waiters. Back to Irving. Pass to Waiters. Ron right side. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. James has got 23 points. Boy, they look helpless defensively. And Chicago shooting reasonably well, 45%. Outside Rose. He feeds it to Butler. The dish to Gasol. Tries from 10. And the Bulls tack on two more. The offense has a better flow, and it actually looks better here in the second quarter. Yeah, they've steadied themselves a little bit, trying to close this gap. LeBron outside. Left side, low. The kick out to Irving. And we've reached halftime in this one. Cavaliers ahead, up eight. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Kevin with LeBron and another dominant first half. How do you measure the balance between riding your hot hand and making sure the other guys around you are finding their rhythm? We just got to be aggressive. All of us, including myself, got to continue to be aggressive in the second half. LeBron, thank you. Kevin, they can't stand around and just watch him. Thank you, Doris, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for the third quarter of basketball.
And we welcome you back to the Eastern Conference Finals here on 2K Sports. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Well, he shot his share of free throws, that's for sure. I mean, he got to the line, drew contact, and you love getting to the free throw line. Easy points if you can get them. Steve, I think they may have to rotate the defensive assignment on him from now on just to avoid foul trouble on any one player. I mean, he's drawing a lot of fouls on guys. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, the two stars, LeBron and Love, at the three and the four. Allen is out there with Kyrie Irving, and it's Thompson in at the five spot. And, uh, oh, there's a whistle. He was going up for a layup, and while it looked like there was some contact, I wasn't sure they were going to call a foul shot or not, but sure enough, they have. So he'll head to the free throw line. Bulls have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. Cleveland leading by five. Outside Irving. Allen outside. Love with the screen on Buck. Shot clock at six. It's Allen, top of the key. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got three rebounds so far in the game. Rose with the ball. Guarded now by Irving. Rose kicks to McDermott. Rose attacking. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Thompson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Well, they need a shot or two to fall here soon. They're only one of four since the break. The Cavaliers have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Rose attacking. Out to the wing. Now here's McDermott, covered by LeBron. McDermott dishes to Rose. Six to shoot. And the rejection by Love. No good from Gibson. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Nobody near Allen. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got his third assist on the night. The Bulls have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half started. Rose kicks to McDermott. Back to Rose. From downtown, the Cavaliers pull it in. Thompson sets the pick for LeBron. And Gibson sends it back. McDermott with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. Butler kicks to McDermott. The feed to Noah. Puts up the baby hook. Can't hit, and it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Outside Irving. Love with the screen on Rose. Stolen by Noah. 
They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And it's Rose penetrating. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Let's take a look at the players who have pulled down the most rebounds during this postseason. Fifth, Joakim Noah. Tell you what, he's dialed up his rebound here in the playoffs. And the big games seem to bring the best out of him. The Bulls have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. Free throw, good road. And Rose drops them both. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. In the corner, it's James. He dishes it to Allen. It's tipped. He's looking for love and finds him. Six to shoot. The drive by LeBron. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Doug McDermott. You know, it's apparent there what a leader he is. Always communicating it and keeping everyone on the floor in sync. Yeah, regardless of whether he's having an off night or not. And that's what makes him such a great leader. Just always trying to, to help his team any way he can. And here's something else I love about him, guys. If one of his teammates is on the fringes of the game, maybe not as involved as he should be, then he takes it upon himself to get him involved. Anderson Verajau's checked in for Thompson. And so he's able to get one of two. Bulls trail by nine. Now Rose. 20 points for him. McDermott with it. He's picked up by James. McDermott with the screen for Gibson. Feeds it to Rose. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Marion's checked in. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. He's definitely rolling offensively. You might not be able to stop him, but you've got to find a way to contain him. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. I'll tell you, the defense was right there just waiting. Doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Now here's James. 24 points for him. And it's Irving missing. Butler goes in. But they'll get another chance. Rose passes to McDermott. Back to Rose. Six on the shot clock. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. And the next foul will put them over the limit and in the bonus. A chance to get some easy points at the line here, so it makes sense to be aggressive. Gibson dishes to McDermott. Pocket six. Second chance shot, and he hits the jumper for two. McDermott's got his second bucket of the game to go. And so it's Cleveland with it. And here is James. Marion setting the pick for LeBron. Off the screen. And that misses everything. Tell you what, shooting 20% to start the second half doesn't bode well for how this will play out for this squad. Irving against Rose. Passes it to McDermott. Good work defensively by Marion. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Allen with it. Noah picks him up. Irving against Gibson. Irving kicks to LeBron. Irving sets a screen for James. Down to five on the shot clock. That's good. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Now well, Chicago has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Noah with a screen on Irving. Rose attacking. No dice from nine feet out. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. Cleveland moving the ball around. 
Irving kicks to James. Shot clock at six. And then jammed down as he goes right over Taj Gibson. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Martin? Well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense, that's for sure. And Rose, wide open. He shoots, and it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. Dishes to LeBron. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. 30 points for LeBron. What a top-notch game he's having. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seemed like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. Here's Noah. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. You know, the first shot defense has been pretty good, but they've been getting beat way too often with the second and third chance. Well, good coaches always say defense doesn't end until you secure that rebound. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Aaron Brooks, he's checked in for Chicago. And then for Cleveland, Mike Miller's checked in for James. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Allen. Noah with a screen for Butler. He kicks to Brooks. There's a screen. A pass to McDermott. Back to Brooks. Noah in the post. Started by Marion. Noah's shot is off. He's certainly not been at his best this quarter. Um, and that's an understatement. Marion setting the pick for Irving. To the left side wing. There's the triple. The rebound by Noah. Noah's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's McDermott. Pass to Bump. Kicks it to Gibson. Takes it into the teeth of the lead. And he hurts the way up. Gibson's got five points so far. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Some changes for Chicago. How the song has checked in for Noah. Miritich comes in for Taj Gibson. And it's Heinrich in for McDermott. Now, here is Irving. Verizhao with a screen on Brooks. Miller, that's for two. And another miss by Cleveland. Bulls trail by seven. Heinrich with it. And it's Miller picking him up. Heinrich passes to Brooks. He feeds it to Butler. Pass to Heinrich. Looking for Gasol. He gets it there. Sean Marion grabs the miss. I like the work there. Contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. Delavidova dishes to Miller. And there's the feed to Delavidova. Irving for three. Chicago grabs the miss. Butler's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. He still hasn't been able to convert from the field. He's just struggling to find his shot. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. Looking at the game for Gasol, he's got 10 points and a steal. It's such a benefit to them when he plays this kind of game. Well, totally unexpected, but he has been very valuable to his team. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. Now, it seems to me that they're taking a lot of pride in their rebounding tonight, especially at the offensive end, guys. Now, here is Irving. And it's Delvin over missing. Butler on the way. Plenty of space. Good, and Heinrich gets the assist. And it's six points for Butler. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Yeah, he's trying to take the wind out of their sails here. I mean, they're on the wrong end of a bad run. They got to sort things out. I think things were very close to spiraling out of control if he didn't burn one there. Here's Delavidova, guarded by Heinrich. 
Della Vidova kicks to Irving. Marion setting the pick for Irving. Miller outside. Miracic grabs the miss. Miracic has got his fourth rebound in this one. Brooks outside. Butler is screen on Irving. Butler with the ball. And it's Miller picking him up. Heinrich outside. A three-pointer, no good. The Cavaliers leading by four. Irving attacking. Left side, Miller. Della Vidova kicks to Irving. Miller up on top to stop the drought. And that one hits back iron. Chicago's getting blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Gasol passes to Heinrich. The dish now to Brooks. Butler sets a screen for Brooks. Back to Heinrich. The three. And that one's good. Now just a one-point Cavalier lead. Talk about about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Rose, he's checked in for Kirk Heinrich. And then for Cleveland, Thompson, he's checked in for Verizon. Love comes in for Sean Marion. And Dion Waiters subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. Now, here's Thompson. Seven points in the game. He dishes it to Waiters. And while we have a chance, let's now take a look at the NBA's season assist leaders. Kyrie Irving, number one. And, of course, Derek Rose. Well, for these two, the bright lights and the extra attention and intensity of the postseason doesn't do anything to affect their concentration. <laughs> Both of these guys always seem to get the ball to the right man at the right time. It's been a good night for Waiters. He has 12 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. Well, the defenders have that in the back of their minds now, too, so they're going to close out on him quicker. That should allow him to use the drive if he wants. Butler is screen on Waiters. Back to Rose. For the lead. The shot no good. So Cleveland will take it the other way. They've led by as many as 14 points. Love with the screen for Irving. Love right side. Feeds to Thompson. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. 35 seconds left in the third. Rose dishes to Miritic. Passes to Butler. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Rose gets to Gasol. Here's the pass to Miritic. Stolen by Thompson. Now here's Waiters. He's got 12. Dishes it to Love. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. That's good from Love. And he makes both free throws. Boy, I tell you what, he does not look like your typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. Fader on the way. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Cavaliers lead by three. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Cleveland leading by three. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler, the back inside, Gibson and Noah. And it's McDermott in at the three. That's the five out there for the Bulls. 
Now, here is Irving. Shot clock at six. Floats one. That's good. Nine points for Kevin Love. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting 40% from the field. Irving against Rose. He kicks it to Butler. Pass to Gibson. Six on the shot clock. That's good. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to find those close-range shots. Now here's LeBron. LeBron is screen on Rose. Irving drives in. Here's Love. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And 11 points for Kevin Love. Very clever passing. That was just beautifully done. Noah with a screen for Rose. Takes it to McDermott. Back to Rose. He feeds it to McDermott. Pass to Rose. Stolen by Williams. The drive by James. Can't cash in from close range. You know, typically, guys, he has the body control to finish when he's in that tight. I'm not sure what happened there. McDermott with it, and it's Waiters picking him up. Goes up to the strike. Rose, no good. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. On the wing, James. He's covered by Rose. Irving misses. Bulls trail by five. Butler passes to Rose. Noah in the post. Working on James. Here's Gibson. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. That's good from Gibson. Some good numbers here for Gibson. He has eight points and a block. Anderson Verizhaus checked in for Cleveland. Allen comes in for Waiters. The Cavaliers leading by three. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Verizhaus with his screen on Rose. To the wing on the left. Irving kicks to LeBron. Just four to shoot. Here's Love. Chicago grabs the miss. Rose with the ball. Now Rose. There's the dish to McDermott. To tie it up. And again, no good by Chicago. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they're lucky he missed it. Yeah, they were uh, very lucky defensively because there was some miscommunication there. They left him wide open. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. You know, even against defense as tight as that, you expect him to bury those. I don't know. I mean, we've seen him hit those in the past, but like you said, the defender was on him like Lou. It would have been quite a bucket. The game now all time. And that's now nine points for Butler. Defenders need to recognize and be alert to staying on him as we get into crunch time. There is Zhao with a screen on Rose. Irving dishes to Allen. Irving passes to Verja. Rose against Allen. Rose up on top to take the lead, and he gets the bucket. Rose has got 24. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Bulls. Well, defensively, they've played with high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen, really a result of that aggressiveness. They worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They've had a bunch of second chance points. Timeout called Cleveland. Well, he's got to be disappointed with his team's play over the course of this run. And, uh, you know, thus the timeout. You've got to talk things over, try to get back into the game. Something has to change for them as they haven't looked good at all during this run. So. 
A timeout is appropriate here. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what David Blatt said to the team. With his team struggling from three-point territory, he told them to start looking for more high-quality shots inside the paint. We're forcing too many threes, he said. Stop with the bombs and work it inside. Second chance shot. And here is LeBron. He dishes it to Allen. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his fifth assist in this one. What's going on defensively there? A lack of focus, no concentration. Too easy. Now here's Butler. McDermott with the screen for Butler. Feeds to Noah. It's deflected and stolen by Irving. Knocked away. Virajau setting the pick for Irving. And there's a foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. against Irving. Passes it to Allen. Lock at six. Had the space there, but it's offline. I think he was surprised by how much space he had there and just rushed the shot a little bit. Here's Butler. Noah kicks to Rose. Gibson dishes to Rose. From 13... Works a big height pounce and goes in. Rose has got the game tied up here for the Bulls. They'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game out. There's Zhao with his screen on Rose. Allen passes to Love. Back to Allen. Up against Gibson. Here's Vera's Zhao. Ball's not loose. The pass to Irving. Dishes it to LeBron. Back to Irving. It's all in by the Bulls. Noah's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by Irving. Noah in the post. He's going up against Love. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. No good on that one. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Well, it's been rough waters from the foul line for him. His bad fortune continues. Love with the screen for Irving. It's Allen on the wing. Wants to get it to Verishaw and does. Irving attacking. Second shot opportunity. And Verishaw with a nice bucket inside. Verishaw's got four points in the quarter. Chicago trailing here. Outside Rose. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Verizhao's got seven rebounds in the game. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. Yeah, they've been really strong in the paint, battling the glass. Chicago has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Rose. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Rose has got 10 points in just the second half. Cavaliers have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. James kicks to Irving. Over in the corner, Allen. LeBron James on the wing. Looking to end his cold spell. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by James. James has got assist number 7 for him tonight. Bulls trail by four. Outside Butler. He kicks it to Noah. Gibson setting a pick for Noah. 
Back to Butler. McDermott dishes to Gibson. Shot clock at three. Off the left rim and out. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. Picked by Verajan. James gets to Allen. Deflects the pass. Love the pass to Allen. And the three off target. For Chicago, they've gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. And it's Rose penetrating. Noah with a screen for Rose. McDermott, no one around him. Noah throws it down with the quick put back jam. Kev, he came out of nowhere to slam that one back in. Well, that's making him pay for letting him get his hands on that rebound. Where is it ever, Kevin? Now, here is Irvin. LeBron outside. And he takes that one up and powers it through. He does not mess around when he gets close to the hoop. And how big are those points? Bulls trail by four. Chicago calls timeout. Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. Tom Thibodeau had some words for his team in that last huddle. Derek Rose was the focus of the discussion, and he wants their offense to run through him. When Coach addressed the guys in the huddle, his message was clear. Quote, he's who we want getting the bulk of the touches. He is who we want making our decisions. It's pretty late in the game to be altering the game plan, but they're going to come out with a different look here, guys. Back to you. And thank you for that, Doris. Left side, love. Here's the three. That is good. Now it's a seven-point Cavalier lead. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Felt the bucket. Six points for Doug McDermott. Beautiful feed off the bounce to his teammate there. Nicely done. Cleveland leading by five. Outside Irving. Love with the screen for Irving. Lost to Love. The rebound by Gibson. Gibson's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And it's Rose penetrating the Chicago with another bucket. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense for him until the defense makes him change plan. Now here's James. And they double him up with LeBron. Now here's McDermott. He's guarded closely. Terrific execution there when it mattered the most. Cavaliers call time here. They're up by one. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter of this one. Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. There's a minute left in the fourth quarter. Outside Irving. Back to LeBron. Kicks to Thompson. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Butler dishes to Rose. To take the lead. Nails the triple. 
I'll tell you what, this is the white hot version of Derrick Rose right now. This is a huge possession. You've got to execute under pressure. We're going to see what they're made of. Here's James. The kick out to Irving. LeBron drives in. He feeds it to Allen. They need this. No good from three-point territory. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock from moving. And he commits the intentional foul. Free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's a four-point ball game. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. Yes. They foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Let's the three fly, and out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. And on the way from Irving for three, offline. And the Chicago Bulls will move on. And you can see the elation on their faces. I mean, not just happiness, but pure excitement and joy to be headed to the NBA Finals. A tremendous opportunity now, just four wins away from a championship. And guys, tonight, time to celebrate, enjoy the win, and then tomorrow it's uh, back to the practice court, into the film room, and uh, time to prepare for, for what's ahead. But uh, what, what a moment tonight and a great time for this franchise. And they'll represent the East in a final series that's mere days away. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, and the whole crew from 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long, and thanks for watching the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Now let's take a look at the Jordan player of the game.